What's up guys? My name is Justin Loria and today I'm going to be doing a guest tutorial on Chad's channel on how to do a freestyle mini ramp trick called a sweeper which looks like this. Now Chad is going to be over on my channel today doing a tutorial on backside 50-50s on transition so once you get done watching this video make sure to head over there and check it out by clicking the link in the description section. All right, so a sweeper is just essentially a specific type of a foot plant where you're gonna air out of a quarter pipe and then grab the board with a nose grab and momentarily plant your back foot on the deck right next to the coping before you jump back in from this position. Now it's called a sweeper because while you're doing this, you're gonna be dragging the back of the board along the deck as if it were a broom. Now most of the work that you're gonna have to put in in order to learn this trick is teaching your muscle memory how to shoot the board up with your back foot and catch it with your front hand while you're balancing on your back foot and scooping the board around on the deck 180 degrees. So it's just kind of a muscle memory thing that you have to develop. And I have some drills that you can do to kind of work up to that. And then at the very end, you gotta jump off of your back foot and land on the board with both feet as the board lands in the transition, which can be a little scary at first, but uh, don't worry too much about that either. I'll show you some easy ways you can build up to doing that without being too scared of it. All right, so now before you start trying sweepers on a quarter pipe, you can practice the motion on shallower flat ramps so that when the time comes to jump on your board and land in the transition of a quarter pipe, you'll be ready to commit to landing with both feet on the board and leaning forward enough to prevent you from slipping out and taking a slam. Once you find a good ramp to practice on, approach the ramp with enough speed to just barely make it to the top and try to pop the tail of the board off of the ground and catch it with your front hand like you would for a nose grab and then land just on your back foot on the flat part at the top of the ramp. Now, as quickly as you can, steer the board around 180 degrees and try to jump back on the board and land in the ramp from this position with your front foot already on the board and the back wheels just at the very top of the ramp. When you jump back on the board, make sure your back wheels are landing all the way on the downward sloping part of the ramp and not on the flat part at the top because if that happens when you're trying it on a quarter pipe, your board is going to get hung up on the coping and then you're going to fall straight to the bottom. If you'd prefer to start out doing an even easier version of this step, you can do this exact same move in the middle of a flat ramp like this. Alright, so once you get the hang of doing sweepers on flat ramps, you can move on to trying them on a small quarter pipe. As for your foot positioning, I would recommend having your back foot on the tail and your front foot a little closer to the center of the board than usual, as if you were about to attempt to do an ollie. Now as you approach this trick, make sure you do so with the speed that will get you just to the top of the quarter pipe without going too far over it because if you're going too fast, it's going to be hard to redirect your body weight back towards the inside of the quarter pipe fast enough for it to look like you're doing the trick all in one smooth motion. As your front wheels get to the top of the quarter pipe, try to pop the board up into your hand again using your back foot and then land with it on top of the deck as close to the edge of the coping as you can. During this entire process, try to keep your front foot on the board as much as possible so that the trick doesn't end up looking like two separate maneuvers. If this is too difficult for you to do in the beginning, you can always come back to it later and your first priority should be getting that initial attempt at jumping back on your board in because for most people, that's the hardest part of the entire trick. On that note, it's not completely unheard of to take a few slams while you're trying that part so you may want to wear a helmet and pads at least until you've successfully done it the first few times. Now if this part starts to give you a lot of trouble because you're too scared to commit to trying it, you can go back and warm up with a few practice steps I came up with to help get you in the right mindset of jumping on the board in the transition. The first one I always recommend is just a simple roll in. Secondly you can do this move which involves just jumping on the board while it's already safely on the inside of the ramp. A third one would be holding the board by the nose and starting down at the bottom of the ramp and then running up the side of the quarter pipe and doing a front side caveman landing in the transition. And even a fourth one would be jumping on the board from the top of the quarter pipe like you will be doing during a sweeper, but instead hold the tail of the board with your back hand so that you can get your front foot much lower in the ramp before you have to jump. Once you've warmed up with a few of each of these, you should be ready to commit to trying the full maneuver. Just remember, this move is sort of the same kind of mental battle that people go through when they first learn how to drop in, so the faster you commit to it and get it out of the way, the less of a big deal it's going to end up being altogether. 
So now, right up the quarter pipe with just the right amount of speed to barely get your back foot on the deck, pop the board into your front hand, get in position, and just go for it. Even if you do have to bail out the first few couple of times, after a few tries, you should be able to land your first sweeper. Now, one quick thing I want to mention is that you'll notice in the clips of me doing the sweeper, you'll see that I jump off of the deck when my wheels are, my back wheels are about right here, and then the back wheels will bonk off the coping a little bit. But you might find it easier to start out doing it, bringing your uh, tail around, and then putting your wheels on the inside of the ramp, like here, and then jumping on it from there. That way, you don't have to worry about uh, potentially bonking your wheels and making the board end up being crooked when you land in the transition. Once you're feeling confident with the standard version of a sweeper, you can mix it up a little bit with some of these variations, or even better yet, you can make up some of your own. All right guys, so if you enjoyed this style of trick tutorial, there's plenty more just like it over on my channel, so make sure to click the link in the description section to head over there and check it out. Thanks very much, Chad, for having me today, and I wish you guys all the best.